Warning, the warning on this highly educational video has been removed. Uh, yes, welcome to a local drain in my suburb and I know there's a redback spider living right here in this hole and I just found a big fat cockroach. Maybe we can give this spider a bit of a feed. The redback has appeared and it's, um, I call a smallish female. I think that's a cockroach that I had there. And you can see just how feverishly uh, fast that redback is working. And that cockroach is doing all it can to scamper away. But I'm not liking the chances of it uh, escaping totally from what I can see going on there. That cockroach made a fatal move. It actually went up inside the pipe. And I can only assume the redback will now uh, come along and basically seal its fate. Uh, these redback spiders are everywhere in my neighborhood. I could show you hundreds and hundreds of places where they're living and this is a very, very common sort of spot. That's how it's looking inside the pipe there. I could assume that spider has got some bites in and the little critter there is going to be uh, basically weakened by the venom over a period of time and it won't take long. I'm just taking a look up inside the, the redback spider's pipe there, looking right up inside its home. And uh, I can see some egg sacs up there. I think the spider's recluse way, way back behind the egg sacs, I think. Yeah, so old redbacks are a very timid spider. They don't like light. They don't like coming out during the daylight. I can see other things that look like spiders in there, but I think it's the redback skin that it sheds as it grows. I think that red back there, I've been watching this area for a long time, I walk past this area twice every day. It's been here for well over a year from what I can work out. It's been very dry so it's never been flushed out by water coming down that drain. The problem with doing this video, everyone's stopping in their cars, they think I'm laying dead in the gutter because I've got to lay in the gutter to make this video, I don't know why I'm even bothering. Let's see if that little cockroachy thing is dead or alive, oh it's in its final struggle there about the only thing that's dead, oh! Oh no, the redback has come back because it's thinking, oh, it's going to get away. Well, there we go, a nice shot. There she's doing a web action, that back leg thing. That's a nice thing to see, isn't it, hey? And she's decided to come out and have a bit of a scrutiny of what's going on because she thought maybe it's going to get away. That's a very, very feisty meal for Mrs. Redback, that one there. I can tell you, very, very feisty. She's a pretty one, isn't she, hey? She's coming at me. Oh, she's going to be scared and probably run up inside a hole there. Oh yes, I'd say there would have been bites going in there. I don't know what's in focus. Shooting on your iPhone isn't the most appropriate thing, but I'm doing my best. And hopefully without interruption, I've had... <laughs> yeah, like I said, uh, people will think I'm dead in the gutter because I'm laying in the gutter to make this video. Yes, I do lay in gutters to make videos to get nice spider videos like this one. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, coming at you, Mrs. Redback. Just had another person come up and they thought I was dead. It's nice, at least people are noticing I'm laying in the gutter. Uh, you're in the right sort of suburb if that's happening. You're in the wrong sort of suburb if you're laying in the gutter and nobody does a thing, hey? Well, I would say it's a good night, sister, for that cockroach there and the Redback's going to be very, very happy. So yeah, that's what's going on in the gutter there. Mrs. Redback Spider, she's been living there for some time, but let me take you over to a little traffic island where I've saw a Redback Spider, a small one, setting up. It's that little traffic island there that has the Redbacks. That's one of those cat's eye things to give you some scale here, and I'm right next to some traffic, so it's awfully dangerous. Uh, that there's Redback Web, it's all through here. That's not an egg sack, that's just a foam ball. Believe me on that. And if I scratched around in there, there'll be a very small uh, female, but the chances of finding her and she's going to be frightfully scared of me would be uh, near next to zero. Mind you, the audience often say, oh, but Leo, we saw the spider. In fact, I just saw the spider, I think. I saw things scampering through this messy stuff here. Do we really want to go there? <laughs> yeah, I don't want the thing crawling up my arm, I can tell you. It's not going to be very happy that I'm displacing its wondrous home. Very adaptive little critters. Uh, they'll set up basically anywhere where things can get trapped walking along there. And we are literally in the middle of the road here, uh, right on a traffic island in the suburb where I live. So that was the little traffic island there, Mrs. Redback living there. That was the gutter that we looked at there and we fed the spider. Let's take a look at my local pizza shop to see if we've got Mrs. Redback living there as well. 
I was here just yesterday and I noticed a female redback spider and I know exactly the zone she's living in. Okay, this barrel here is the barrel where the redback spider was living. I saw it here yesterday. I can see uh, their sort of web up there. I can see a beetle up there that a redback has captured. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm going to pull this drum out very shortly. If I come around here, nice and gingerly, of course, uh, we're going to see more web here. In fact, there's a lot of web. There is a stack of web. So there's a metal band on this drum. They're going to love living behind this. There's also this type of building structure here. They love to get underneath here and live here. It's almost like the perfect red back home. I'll just carefully pull this drum out a bit. Oh, it's quite heavy. Redbacks love this thing. Okay, the first thing to note, I can see a very immature spider there. It may be a redback, but up here is all the gubbings of uh, redback activity. The things they like to eat, those black beetles. There is a dead cockroach there as well. And uh, yeah, redback spider paradise. On this type of building structure, there's actually holes that go through here. See that there? So they could easily reside up there. That'd be the perfect little snake hole for them. And they can easily hide in here as well. And when the spiderlings come out, and it's right at the end of the spider season, where I live, uh, that's another hole there. They'd be all inside this aluminium bracket here. A perfect spider home. Uh, there's redback spider web all there as well. Tons of it. The spider infestation at the pizza shop was so immense, I came back here in the early morning because I knew I could see the spiders much easier in the darkness. And it really had me thinking, what's changed here? I've walked past this site for the last 11 years, and I can't remember ever seeing the number of spiders that I'm seeing at this time. In what will become another video, I investigate this infestation, and I believe I find the source of the infestation and it seems like via very curious town planning one thing has changed and it has created a giant spider nightmare. What I'm hoping for is my spider infestation investigation is going to have some of these changes reversed and I do have a solution for our illustrious council who loves to install the perfect spider breeder. Yeah so keep an eye out for that spiderific video that is unless I'm kicked off YouTube before I get to upload it. I'll finish off the video and I'll come back and look at the red back spider and how it's dealing with that uh, cockroach down there. Yeah, well, she's uh, done some more work there. Uh, the cockroach is still struggling on. Because I'm here with my light, she may recluse back up into a hole there. She may not. She's spotting up somewhere, but I think uh, that cockroach there is going to be uh, a very slow, ugly, painful and spiderific death. I've come back here at night uh, to show you the redback spider in this uh, same little hole. This will be a, a bit added on to the end of the video, I think. I'm in the gutter again. Hopefully I won't be hit by a car. And if I zoom in like that, we get to see her in a nighttime glory in a comfort zone because they are nighttime spiders. Now I'm here at night. I can actually see there is another spider here. It might be the male. Uh, let me see if I can go in for a closer look. It's right in the middle of the screen there. I'll just move the camera a bit. You can see the shadow of the spider. I'm having trouble trying to work out whether it's male or another female. So yeah, that's a Redback's home there. A car's driving past me. A few people saying, am I okay? And I just say, yeah, just looking at a pet spider in a neighborhood. Yep, where I live, just about every pipe that comes down to the road has an awesome little killer living up inside it. 